Good afternoon, Senator, uh, Colonel, and gentlemen, ladies. Uh, my name is Phil Waldron. I'm a retired Army Colonel, 30 years. I uh, spent the first half of my career just like uh, Colonel Mastriano here as a uh, cavalry officer conducting armed reconnaissance, counter reconnaissance. Last half of my career uh, spent in information warfare uh, as a, as a uh, psychological operations officer and information operations officer, conducted computer network operations, electronic warfare, special electronic warfare, deception, counter deception, OPSEC, and a couple other uh, specialties. This problem set is how to break in, how to break it, how to destroy it, how to manipulate it. My team has been researching this specific issue since uh, August, but we're working with another team that's been uh, intently working on this problem set, the voting machine manipulation for two years since the Ted Cruz and Beto race in uh, Texas in 2018 and the uh, Kentucky governor's race where there were significant anomalies observed. And I'd like to add that there are many, many more teams like ours, small, uh, small teams that are joined in this fight and uh, they're throwing the flag um, left and right. The voting systems in the U.S. Uh, and in Pennsylvania were built to be manipulated. The Philadelphia uses ES&S, Pittsburgh uses Dominion, so these systems are not what you've been told. They are connected to the internet and servers outside of the U.S. They're connected from top to the bottom and the middle. There is no transparency, as, as uh, our, our uh, previous witnesses met, uh, mentioned, as to how the voter information is processed, how and where it's stored. The voting record is able to be modified and or deleted by operators, administrators, and outside threats. Operators can assign votes for write-in, ballots, blank ballots, or error ballots in large numbers so that they can be directed toward one candidate or another at the operator's or supervisor's uh, discretion. 